Good morning, Concord High School. An important goal of ours is to prepare all of our students for college. There are many important steps in the process and one of them is filling out a college application. For the second year we have been selected to kick off I'm College Bound College Application Week. It is my pleasure to now introduce Tori Birub, the Vice President of NHHERF. Good morning, Concord High School, and thank you, Principal Connolly, for having us. This is the second annual New Hampshire's celebration of I Am College Bound, I Applied Week, now in 14 public high schools across the state of New Hampshire. Before we begin, I'd like to thank the faculty and staff at Concord High School who have been instrumental in planning today's events, where current high school seniors will submit their college applications in a computer lab next door. I'd also like to recognize Concord High School student Chance Spinney, who designed the beautiful banner that's behind me, uh, which is now also in 14 public high schools celebrating I Am College Bound, I Applied Week. I'd like to thank the New Hampshire Scholars Club here at Concord High School who are serving as volunteers today. These freshmen, sophomores, and juniors are all learning about the college application process today. And I'd like to thank the 100 volunteers statewide who will be helping students across the state of New Hampshire this week file their college applications. While today is a very important day for the seniors who will be submitting their applications, it's an important day for all of you, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors alike, to begin thinking about your plans for life after Concord High School. Research shows those who perform, pursue some form of post-secondary education, whether it be a certificate degree, an associate's degree, or a bachelor's degree, will in most cases earn more, have more financial security, be more healthy, and be more engaged in their community. In addition to your families, as well as the faculty and staff at your high school, today we are fortunate to be joined by three college graduates who would like to share their thoughts with you today. I am pleased to introduce the 81st Governor of the State of New Hampshire, Maggie Hassan. The Governor earned her Bachelor's of Arts degree from Brown University and her Law degree, a Juris Doctorate, from Northeastern University School of Law. Governor Hassan. Well, thank you, Tony. Uh, for coordinating the I Am College Bound, I Applied initiative to Principal Connolly and everybody here at Concord High School. Thank you so much for the welcome this morning. Congresswoman Custer, it is great to see you. Um, it is great also to be here with Dr. Lloyd. Uh, I know that we have had some uh, participation by the uh, New Hampshire Department of Education as well. Um, and my thanks, too, to the New Hampshire Higher Education Assistance Foundation um, and mostly to the students, uh, both uh, here in the room with me and throughout Concord High School. We can't overstate the importance of higher education. Education itself is the most essential and difficult thing we do in a democracy. Every citizen should have the opportunity to hold a good job, to work hard, to raise a family, and to share in New Hampshire's high quality of life. And higher education is more important today than it ever has been to climbing the ladder of opportunity. It helps not only individuals, helps them reach their potential, helps give them choices in life, but it also helps us build a stronger workforce. Every single business that I visit in New Hampshire describes that they have challenges finding a skilled workforce with the skills they need for 21st century jobs in a 21st century economy. So pursuing higher education really helps our economy as well as helps each and every one of us uh, grow to our full potential. We are working in New Hampshire to hold down the cost of higher education the university system froze in state tuition in 2013, and it's really trying to keep costs down now. Our community colleges actually reduced tuition last year, and they have held the line on that again 
this year. Um, so it's really important that people look at different options and understand that we are working as hard as we can to make it affordable. We're also making sure that when you get to your higher education program, <coughs> the curriculum is aligned with the needs of the business community so you'll be prepared uh, when you finish your higher education for a great job. And we're working in our K through 12 system as well to modernize how we're teaching things um, like uh, STEM, and we're trying to make sure that we are focused on competency-based education uh, to make sure that education is relevant and that you're all going to be prepared for higher education moving forward. We know we have more work to do, uh, especially on making higher education more affordable, but we're all working together as hard as we can to do that. I am very grateful to the New Hampshire Higher Education Assistant Foundation for building on these efforts, helping make make the dream of going to college a re reality for more and more of our young people, and especially supporting students through the college application process, especially for first-generation students uh, and first in your family to apply. I know it can be daunting, but keep at it. You've got lots of people all around who want to help you do it. Um, adults have a tendency to talk to young people about how important you are to your future, to our future. Um, it's true. We say it because it's true. And um, it's critical, not only to your future, but to the future of our state and our country, our economy and our globe, that you all learn and thrive and that you see education as an ongoing life effort because we all need in this economy to keep learning uh, throughout our adult lives. So please take the opportunity that you all have this week to prepare for your future. You are really poised to help us lead the way in New Hampshire. We need your talent and your energy, your perspective and your collaborative problem solving. We need you to engage in our civic society too and become the kind of citizens and engaged um, adults that New Hampshire is known for. With that, I have a proclamation to deliver. It is called the I Am College Bound Proclamation because we are proclaiming uh, November 2015 as I Am College Bound Month. Whereas New Hampshire Higher Education Assistance Foundation Center for College Planning is promoting a statewide campaign to recognize that early academic and financial preparation are essential for college bound students and their families. And whereas the month long I Am College Bound celebration is supported by the New Hampshire Department of Education, the New Hampshire Hampshire College and University Council, the New Hampshire School Counselors Association, the Community College System of New Hampshire, the University System of New Hampshire, and other higher education and secondary <laughs> school associations and partners, including the American Council on Education. And whereas I Am College Bound Month will help increase the number of first generation students pursuing a post secondary education. And whereas various outreach efforts have been created to educate students about the importance of post-secondary education and college planning for students of all ages. And whereas I Am College Bound application days will support hundreds of college bound students completing college admission applications at high schools throughout the state. And whereas the first I Am College Bound application day will be held on Monday, November 16th, 2015 at Concord High School. And whereas I Am College Bound Month is a great opportunity to ensure that we provide resources to create awareness of the importance of education, especially post-secondary education, and of supporting all students who aspire to continue their education. Now, therefore, I, Margaret Wood Hassan, Governor of the State of New Hampshire, do hereby proclaim November 2015 as I Am College Bound Month in the State of New Hampshire and encourage all residents to join the State of New Hampshire and its partners in this worthy observance. Get to work, everybody, and congratulations on your future. Thank you, Governor Hassan. And we will leave that cer the, her proclamation here at Concord High School for you to have and hang in your office. Our next speaker is no stranger to Concord High School. She is actually a Concord High School graduate from the class of 1974. It is my pleasure to introduce the Congresswoman from the 2nd District of New Hampshire, Anne McLean Custer. Congresswoman Custer graduated with a bachelor's degree in environmental policy and is part of the college's first third class of women from Dartmouth College. She earned her law degree from Georgetown. Congresswoman Custer.
Thank you. Thank Tori. you. Thank you, Tori. It's great to be back at Concord High CHS. Uh, happy to be here with the Crimson Tide. Thank you, Governor. Welcome to my alma mater. Delighted to be here. Thank you, Principal Conley, for your introduction. And you've done a really fabulous job with the school. And I'm just so proud to consider myself an alumni of Concord High. So I was here a few years ago, um, before probably all of you were born. But I'm here today just to really encourage you to get out and learn more about um, what your future holds. If you're a freshman, if you're a sophomore, if you're a junior, or if you're one of those lucky seniors that's applying for college this week, we hope you will be thinking about what your future is all about. Completing a college application is just the first step in what your future holds, but it's a really important step for you and your family to be thinking about. We know that education is all about opportunity and providing you with a really bright future. The opportunity to have a good job, as the governor said, and to provide for you and your family going forward. So enrolling in college after high school is becoming increasingly essential to competing in today's challenging economy and workforce. Deciding what's next after you graduate from Concord High is important. So remember, there are lots of people in the Concord community and right here at the high school to assist you. Don't hesitate to reach out to your school counselor, to your teachers, family members, coaches, mentors, even your friends. You can learn a lot from what other students are doing and thinking about. And college is expensive, so consider all the alternatives. You can get lots of information from your guidance counselor's office or online. Seek out scholarships. We have millions of dollars in scholarships in New Hampshire that are public and private. We've got lots of options. You can do a two-year community college experience, starting out living at home maybe to save money, and then transfer and get the four-year degree that will really provide for a bright, bright future. I had a chance to tour your CTE center, and I'm really excited about the first start that people are getting right here in high school school, walking out of here with an LNA degree that will put them into a job right off the bat. So there are lots of alternatives for you. You can keep going. It's a really a question of lifelong learning. And this is just the first step. Now, since taking office in Congress, one of the biggest priorities for me has been trying to keep college affordable for students and their families. I've been working on college savings plans, on keeping tuition low, and on keeping interest rates low if you do need to take out loans. Ask a lot of questions. It's very expensive. And we want to make sure that you're getting the best value, the best opportunity that fits your situation, and you'll go off and have a really bright future. So I hope there are more Concord High School students out there who will someday run for Congress or governor. You can change the world. It's all starting right here at Concord High. Go Crimson Tide. Thanks so much. Thank you, Congresswoman. And our last speaker this morning, we welcome the Associate Vice President for Student Affairs at NHTI Concord's Community College, Dr. Charles Lloyd. Dr. Lloyd graduated from my alma mater, Keene State College, with a bachelor's degree in physical education. He holds a master's degree from Plymouth State University and recently received his doctorate degree from Northeastern University. Dr. Lloyd. Well, good morning, and uh, thanks for having me. I appreciate that, and I am somewhat in enemy territory. I am a Franklin High School grad as well, a golden tornado, so 1,700 boos around. I, uh, I appreciate that. Uh, so you've heard a lot of great messages about uh, ways to be successful, and my job here today is kind of package that up, wrap that up for you a little bit. Uh, I don't have the answer to success, but I think I have the winning formula. You know, a couple of, a couple of uh, minutes ago, I was on my drive over here, and I said, well, geez, I'm, I'm almost 36 in a couple of weeks. That means 18 years ago, I was a senior in high school. And this is the next phase, the next 18 years. And I said, I've learned a lot of things. That's what I'm going to share. I heard a message about lifelong learning. That means you need to learn how to be a learner. You know, enjoying what you're, what you're trying to learn. And to me, when I was going to Keene State College, it was physical education I enjoyed, but really the side to that was I enjoyed working with people and guiding people. I became a resident assistant. I got involved in student activities. And eventually, one of the things I also learned was you need to learn when to reach out for help. 
reaching out for help, whether it's a guidance counselor, a coach, or, or somebody that just has a, has a path you've already seen happen and you want to be in their path. So finding also the fit, the school, and someone to guide your path, to me, becomes a winning formula. The other piece to that really is around asking, asking the questions. You know, you may have a coach, you may have a guidance counselor, somebody you enjoy uh, what they're doing, but sit down and talk to them about their path. Ask questions about applying to college. Where's a good place? How can I find out more? Attending open houses, reading books, reading online about colleges. Uh, to me, that's one of the most critical things you can do. And finally, I want to talk about self-sabotaging. These are those voices in your head that say, you can't do this. You should probably back off. This is a little over your head. To me, it's, you got this. You got this. It's about being confident. It's about you know, stepping up, filling out applications, visiting schools, and trying to do today what it needs to, to, to take you to the next level to be successful tomorrow. So to me, it's about a package, about a formula of all of these little pieces. And given the, uh, the Patriots game last night, I have to leave you with a Belichick quote, of course. Do your job, and the results will take care of themselves. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Lloyd. <laughs> Students, today as we end our program and we move to E304, for those of you who have signed up to participate today, or for those of you who would like to come and ask a question of the volunteers who are here to assist students today, please remember that you too can be college bound. Talk with your families, talk with your school counselors, talk with your coaches. Ask them how college has shaped their lives and their dreams. The great American essayist and poet Henry David Thoreau wrote, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you've imagined. Today, we encourage each of you to pursue your dreams and your future by taking the important step of applying for college. Thank you very much. Thank you to our speakers, to our volunteers. Have a great day, Concord High School. <laughs>